I want to but judge and I'm so excited. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Gloria. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, we are so privileged and excited truly to be sharing all these things with you. Before going to today's broadcast, let's call for that day. Say, say this with us and mean it with your heart. Say, Father, Father today, today I, demand, I demand, I receive, and I receive my daily, my bread. daily bread. It's coming right now. It's coming right now. Angels go. Angels go. Make good. Make good. God's promise. God's promise. Of meeting my daily of needs. Of meeting my daily needs. Amen. Amen. And Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Your truth is being revealed. Yes. And it's being revealed by the anointing of your spirit. Amen. Therefore, we declare bodies are lifted, mm. yokes are destroyed. Mm. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, we we're talking about family matters. Yes. And everything. We we listen, just we open. And whatever the Spirit of God brings to our brings to us to share with you mm. is what we'll share. share. We will hold back nothing to the end that your life, your family, will not just only get better, but it will fulfill God's, God's mission yeah. and dream for your life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can you just go on and share what's in your spirit? Commanding his household after God, yeah. the person. Abraham, yeah. you know, last um, yesterday, because this week the Lord has helped us talk about handling mistakes in the home, no matter the mistake. And we're using Abraham as a role model how he handled the situation that had to do with Hagar and Ishmael, which was caused by his beloved wife, a woman that he married. But he agreed, he, yeah, <laughs> he, he agreed. <laughs> he said, no, yes. woman. Yeah. God did not say that. Okay, wait, let me find out from her. He, Abraham used to ask God for everything. I wonder why he didn't ask God this part. Maybe he looked appealing, like, okay, yeah, looking at Sarah. But, but you, you know, know the truth. Mm. If you've been in this situation for so long, long yes. anything that looks like that, so you'll jump, jump at it. It will take great discipline for you to go before the Lord. Hold on and go before It's like you've not had money for so long. And you, you have bills piled up and everything. And then one day you are on your own. Mm. You're just on your own. And somebody that comes to tell you that, ah, there's this deal that, I don't know, I just think I should bring it to you. I'm telling you, it, even though you know that there is a bit of compromise in there, you will be thinking, just maybe, this is how God wants it to get the money. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm you, it's so easy for you to like this is the only wisdom that I've come mm. so why don't I go with it yeah. here's, here's the catch Satan always comes first like the fake coming before the real yes. yeah Satan always comes first so always watch out for him yeah always watch out then yeah. If there's a bit of compromise in there, then the best thing to do is to run it by the Lord. Yeah. And then, you know, sometimes so you may not even know you're making a mistake yet oh, you until the deed is done. You know, like we. Well, you know, you, know the, 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 you, you well, have the sense, you have this knowledge in you that there's a part of this thing I really don't agree with, yeah. I really don't fully understand. But mm -hmm. what? Let's just go get to that bridge, we'll cross, cross it. it. You know, that's not the mindset. And then you get to that bridge that you cannot cross. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go back to God. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you should have gone to him. In the first place. Yeah, you're Hallelujah. Talking about... Yeah, talking about Abraham. You know, I was going to say how that this, we are talking about this as a mistake now in the part of Abraham. But, you know, it, when Sarah suggested this to Abraham, it looked more like. Okay, Sarah is already very old. And God had already said he's going to make me a great nation. And this is Sarah's maid. And according to their custom then, Sarah could do that. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Even today, yes. there are customs like that. Yes. I mean, you, you can buy up 
um, a slave, mm. and that slave becomes your property. property. That slave gives birth. It's yours. It's yours. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Um, you know. So now, Abraham had received the promise of God that he was going to be a great nation, and now here is he tampering with the um, promise that God made to him because of his wife. I'm not going to talk about in detail because we've already shared, you know, in the course of the days, how that just run back to God where you make a mistake. But here is where I'm going to. After he had done what he did and then um, um, Ishmael came forth. This mistake was as a result of his eye being on that promise that God gave to him that he was going to be a great nation. Now, this mistake has, has, has been done because of what he was looking at. And the person that caused him to make this mistake is his beloved wife. Now, what did Abraham do? Abraham still dealt with Sarah lovingly. He still dealt with Sarah in kindness. Most times as husbands, your wife does something. You're already jumping to conclusions. You've I'm, already... I'm never going to listen to you again. Exactly. And I mean it. Like... Mm -hmm. I'm never going to listen to you. And then you say so many hurtful and hateful things and then your wife is wondering, why would you say this to me? You stepped out of love by using those words. Remember, when we talked about your personal relationship with God, the reason God is here for us to follow. When someone does something that you do not like, you do not repay evil for evil. Because we need to put this word of God in our hearts and in our mouth. Because challenges of life will come to test what we have on the inside. And your reaction would determine how far, you know, and it also determines the relationship that you have with the Lord. So, your reaction mm -hmm. will always determine, mm -hmm. always show, show your relationship with the Lord. It doesn't matter, you can't control what people do to you. Mm -hmm. But your reaction is fully under your control. Mm. Whatever reaction you give, you become responsible for that well, reaction. Exactly. So the reaction you give to a particular situation mirrors what's in you. In you. That's yes. how you even gauge your growth. Mm. Yeah. How well have I grown? Check your reaction to each. Exactly. I can never do this again. I can never help people again. No, no. Who cheats you? Me, if I ever help anyone again, call me. <laughs> See all manner of things. Now you think you're being justified mm, by that, by because of mm. actions that people have done to you. But what you don't realize is God is looking at you to see how great a man, man. you are. Mm. A great man is not the man without challenges. Mm -hmm. A great man is a man who rises above every challenges, keeps his peace, mm. keeps his mind intact mm. and pursues his vision. Exactly. And, on the, on, and, and as he's pursuing his vision, he's also exercising loving kindness. Of course not. Because, because to keep going on with that vision, you must forgive. Mm -hmm. And that's exercising loving kindness. Exactly. You see, you must forgive. Mm. You, you, you will be forced to help people you really don't want to help. Mm. You understand mm. that? That's the truth. Mm. You know, you know how that the scripture talks about us humbling ourselves before the mighty hand of God yeah, so that he exalts us. Yes. Five, sixteen or seven. Five, six or so. Okay. Humbling yourself under the mighty hand of God is humbling yourself under the word of God. What he says to you, what he has also written, and then what he speaks to you. Because when the situation of life comes, you will need to apply these words. You need to consciously apply. 
Now, in, in, the, in the situation between you and your wife, what have you intentionally told yourself as a husband? What have you intentionally told yourself as a wife? What have you intentionally told yourself as a parent that there are words I will not use for my wife, for my children, for my husband, no matter how I feel, no matter what they do to me. I will not demean them because I have to exercise loving kindness to them. When we as individuals make mistakes, I, I've never heard God tell me when I make a mistake, you're a bastard. I will deal with you. You are stupid. Yeah, God, amazing. I mean, it's even... It's amazing. It's amazing hearing God talk. Exactly. <laughs> even me saying I mean, this thing like, is heavy. Like, like God says, look at you. Look at what you have just done. Yeah? What nonsense. What rubbish. You are a fool. You are stupid. Ah. God will never say that to us as his children. <laughs> Why are we so fast? to be so abusive that means our relationship with god is still on that stage of babyhood we have not grown because when you see god in your wife and you see god in your children you will talk to them nicely it's an intentional act it's, you are deliberate about it you will talk to them respectfully because the word of god tells us to do so the word of God tells us not to repay evil for evil. The word of God tells us to humble ourselves under his mighty hand. He says, when men persecute you, when they revile against you, when they do all sorts of things against you, bless them. <laughs> Are you blessed with words? It, it's, to bless them is not a thing of the flesh. Mm -mm. It's a thing of faith. So you see, you know, so it's, it, it, it's not easy. It was never meant to be easy mm -mm. In, the flesh. in the flesh. So he's never called us to live in the flesh. Mm -mm. But we just love to live there. He, he called us to come up higher. So now, someone is reviling you. Someone is doing all sort of you. thing against you. Mm. And you just want to shut them up. But then he says, bless Bless, yes, bless. If I bless them, I will empower them to do more, more to, me. to me. He says, no, mm -hmm. bless. And you'll be surprised. Lord, I need your help. Mm. Yes. Now you've come to the place. Because he says, for without me, you they can, can do, do nothing. nothing. Mm. You can bless without him. Exactly. Guess what? When he says bless, He's not just saying talk bless. Mm. He's telling you release your, your faith. faith. And they be blessed. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. Now, someone is doing evil to you. And God is saying, when you say, when you bless, release your faith. That indeed, they be blessed. Guess what? Mm. In the same measure that you, you meet out, mm. it shall be measured. Back to you. Mm. When you begin to render evil for evil, it's a measure. Of you. you. He's not, God's not looking at you are your you reacting now. Mm. He is looking at your action. Mm. And now this now someone displayed an action towards you. You think you are um returning that action to mm. that person, mm. but that's not how the spirit realm works. Mm. The spirit realm sees you. Releasing an action. And then guess what? You are sowing those seeds of bad Black. words. Mm. You are sowing those seeds of wickedness. Mm. And guess what you're going to receive? Good measure. Press them. Shaking together. Run, you know. Mm. See how Satan destroys? The home. Yeah. And you were supposed to tame your wife or your husband or your children by your reaction to whatever situation that came out. But instead, your own reaction produces even more wickedness in them. Because by your hateful, spiteful you, words, you make you, them even hardened the you, more. You cause strife. In your home. In the Bible says where there is envy and strife. There is every. Confusion mm. and Every, every evil, evil work. work. You don't want every evil work to be taking place in your home. Mm -mm. Because suddenly, you are working by faith in your home. Mm 
Mm. No one falls sick. Mm. Everything is working out well. Suddenly, someone starts getting sick. Mm. And someone starts getting this disease. And someone starts getting broke. Mm. And you're wondering where all this is coming from. from. A working hard strife. Mm. Yeah, because of one disagreement or one action or one mistake that was not properly handled in love. Yes, it is. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, listen. All these words we are sharing with you. Put them to work. Now, you can put them to work by yourself. Mm -mm. It's by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So, Father, we release these ones watching now. Thank you, Lord. To you. Walk in them these things that we talk about. Amen. That their eyes be open to see the reality of this mm -hmm. and how to apply it in their lives. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We're going to see you tomorrow. Praise God. Bye. -bye.